real quick because of that warning I got. No wonder the age of 18 is even in this video. I'm over 18. Plus, make sure you're over 18 if you're watching this video or at least have a medical card. This content's for educational and entertainment purposes only. No sales are being made. It's just my fucking opinions. But fam, enjoy. But YouTube, fuck off. YouTube, yo, hey, I'm with Love My Life. Hey, we just actually got a lot of cool things done that relate to that very term. You know, we just uh, finished paying the wedding venue dues, etc. So that means, that means, that means the wedding can officially happen. <laughs> hey. Well, I'm glad we know 13 days before with our two-year and one-month engagement that we can hey, actually get married. It's officially, officially <laughs> official at this point, right? But hey, we're, we're celebrating. You know we got some good food. That's also right there. We'll dive into that in a second. Uh, you'll probably all can tell what it is by the title, but I haven't written the title yet. So that's a CBD seltzer. And it's crazy because we're at a brewery, so I did get that beer first and foremost. But I can dive into that next. Very excited. But hey, first. Shout out. It's cool it's clear. True, like legit sells it. Shout out Catskills Hemp Company. This has been my go to device to carry around your pro dose vape. Absolutely incredible quality. Blinkers at the brewery. <laughs> yeah, so welcome back. Yeah, this lemon lime CBD seltzer. They basically got this on tap next to their beer. There's the alternative option now at Brew Brewery here. I think there's a few breweries never actually took the jump into a CBD seltzer, not really knowing necessarily would it be worth it. But hey, let's try it, right? So per eight fluid ounces, this thing's supposed to have 25 milligrams of CBD in it. Um, basically tastes like a lemon lime seltzer, but there is some distillate taste in there. Uh, the chemicals? Not chemically like the Delta 8 that you would have tasted, but yeah, something sort of along those lines. The second taste, I'm getting a little bit more of that fruit flavor than the first taste, so that's a little bit interesting. It's a little bit more aromatic than it is actual flavorful. Um, be honest, this shouldn't worry y'all too much because this is a specific company here brewing this locally. But maybe they'll watch this video. Maybe they can figure out a way to add a little bit more flavor since they do have that distillate in there than that average seltzer. I think it does need a little bit more flavor. But we are taking some steps in the right directions, right? You say you're out with your friends and you want to drink while they all sipping on some beer or this company's new barley wine at 17% alcohol. You kind of want to have a drink in your hand. And this this will work. Usually when you taste distillate in a product, that means it's strong enough or it's going to actually do something for you. So it is pretty cool to have the option. And when you need the option, maybe you're a little less picky with the taste, right? Okay. Cheers though. Cheers though. Just some recent conversations with a few people actually in this space of these uh, drink mixes with cannabinoids. Uh, this thing is CBD one. The fact that I'm already feeling like a muscle relaxation, spine relaxation type of vibe, and I'm feeling literally more calm off of it, like a very specific CBD type calm off of it, makes me think that this this, this brewery actually took the extra steps of getting like a micro CBD. Uh, that would mean it's quicker absorbed, quicker acting, because it hasn't been an hour. And you know, if this was just regular CBD distillate, I really wouldn't feel anything for an hour, just how it works being processed through the liver and all. This looks like it's absorbed directly into your bloodstream. That's a cool, cool thing. Uh, to be honest, once you get through maybe like five, six sips, the distillate bothers you maybe a little bit less, but then again, that's because it's just permanently in your mouth for the rest of the night at that point. Uh, but that's kind of that's kind of the vibe. I, I'm not angry with it. I'm not angry with it. But I did not go and get a second. No. Um, you know that drink I was making fun of a couple of clips ago? That, uh, what is it called? Barley wine? Like that beer? Barley wine? It's barely wine. It's supposed to be mostly like a lager. Except it's like 16.4% somehow. 16.3%. Uh, I forget the name of it. But regardless. Barely like, wine. Barely wine was the name. Huh. I thought you meant like it was barely wine. No. That's really funny. 
Yeah. Let's take a sip. Let's try this out. It smelled strong. It's like you know, the chocolate type of lagers. It's definitely a fruit note. It's definitely like a fruit note in the back, but it's more like a date than a berry. That actually tastes really good. You can tell it's strong though. It tastes it kind of reminds me of a dessert wine a little bit.
Now, it's not a 100% hamburger, guys, right? But it's definitely not no 50, 50, 70, 30, whatever. It's like 90 some percent peanut butter. And the other taste kind of coming in behind it. That's why I said, yeah, it's a little bit different. But yo, I fucking love peanut butter. So the fact that this tastes even more like it, smells even more like it, yo, I'm really vibing with it. And it's definitely a pretty damn potent strain coming out of that 23.3% THCA. Yeah, let's nerd out on peanut butter breath right now because I'm just that homeboy. Carophyllene and humulene, humulene. Probably said them both wrong. Someone can correct me in the comments if you want to. Are both the very high concentrated terpenes existing in this, meaning that it is a phenomenal, phenomenal anti-inflammatory. If you're having some like soreness, etc., if you need like to take a Tylenol, fuck your Tylenol and just take a hit, you know. I mean, sorry, not medical advice, not allowed to do that type of shit, but otherwise recreationally, it gives a very good mood boost, a very clear head, and you know, your muscles feel relaxed, your joints feel relaxed, as I was kind of saying before that all. But hey, besides that all, homies, I usually am live streaming every day around eight, or nine, or seven. Hey, it's kind of all over the place. I do a nightly live stream though, because that's just how your homeboy do. I'm kind of in the same month as my wedding, kind of two weeks away from that, homies. So, you know, I'm dedicating a lot of time to y'all, but I had to like make sure I dedicate the right time to that all. You get what I mean. But hey, I hope I catch you in the next live stream, and I also hope I catch y'all in the next video. I am still trying to post content on a daily basis whether it be one form more than another, but hopefully both a video and a live stream every day. Subscribe, like, comment down below so y'all can keep tuned to that all. But hey, till that next one, it's your boy Jerry Juice, and it's doses.